What's up guys, it's Watson423, and we had a comment on our last video and they said number 5, and that's pistols only, so let's go ahead and get that nuke. So we're going to be using the revolver in this video because I was trying to use the 1911, and you would think a 45 would be able to do damage to people, but apparently a 45 in this game is nerfed art, so that's why we're using the revolver. You know, also my setup at the end. And you're going to see a little blooper right there of me dying. I want y'all to know I'm not like the greatest at this game, so you are going to see some deaths and stuff, and I want everybody thinking I'm just pro call of duty player because i am very far from being that but yeah comment below the number you want me to do next so far we've done five eight and twelve so but picking between numbers one through fifteen excluding those numbers will be the next challenge that i do and obviously there's more than fifteen guns in the game it's just the challenges i want to knock out of the way first because you know i want to get more interesting guns that's why i'm doing them first for better content for y'all to see because i'm all about that so a few things I want to talk about today is, would y'all want to see me grind to level guns up so I can get good attachments for them to make better videos with them? Because I don't think y'all want to see a bare bones weapon being used to get nukes with, in my opinion. only reason I say that is if I have a, a Kilo 141 and it's just a bare bones stock version, I think it would be less appealing than seeing the gun completely clapped out with attachments. So comment below if you want to see me do some grinding videos of me just getting a ton of kills just so I can level the gun up and use awesome attachments so the gun looks cool for the videos. Or comment if you don't want to see me do a bare bones gun like no attachments or anything. And a sneak peek into tomorrow's video is going to be a Rambo only nuke so we're probably going to use like the M60 or the closest equivalent to that whatever pistol that he used so yeah that's a sneak peek into tomorrow. But yeah let's get to rating this gun. I'd rate it for difficulty a 5 out of 10 just cause you know, it packs a punch, but you reload so slow and you shoot even slower. Uh, customization, it's a revolver, so I mean, you can't really do too much with it. But with that being said, I'd rate it about a 3. And uh, just overall fun to use. You know, I like westerns and stuff, so I'm kind of biased, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Altogether for a roundabout square of probably 5, you know. Not a noob-friendly gun, I wouldn't really use it that much, you know. Just because, one, it's a secondary, it's not meant to be used as a primary. Two, the customization, just like I said, it's a revolver. It's not there. And, uh, I mean, it's fun to use if you like shooting cowboy guns, but then again, not everybody thinks like me, and I understand that, so I can understand why people wouldn't want to use this gun to get nukes. So, that being said, you're fair warned to probably not use this if you're trying to get nukes. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the gun review. So, we're going to go into story time. But before we do that, comment below if you'd like to hear, like the story time, if you want to hear me just talk about the gun. Because the videos are going to be a lot shorter if it's just about the gun. Because I'm not going to repeat the same thing I say. Or at least try not to. You know, I'd rather keep it interesting. That's why I have the story time stuff. But anyways. So, I'm 24 years old now. And uh, this story took place when I was about 8 years old. So, me and my family decided to go to Tweetsie Railroad. It's like this, like, family uh, theme park thing. You ride on a train and stuff. It's more for, you know, kids and stuff. But anyways, there's like this petting zoo. And my dad bought us these uh, cups, and they had corn and stuff in them, and you just walk up to the animals and, you know, feed them the dry corn. Anyways, it looked like a snow cone to me, and we were, it was like maybe midsummer, about 70 degrees, and I thought it was one of them drumstick ice creams, and me being eight years old and not being the, that smart, well, not much has changed since I was eight, but anyways, I licked it. And I told my dad, I was like, Dad, this ice cream does not taste that good. And I had a mouthful of dry corn in my mouth. But, you know, the only thing I wondered back then was, why did I think corn belonged on ice cream? Like, what was I thinking? But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I don't know why I shot a predator missile. You know, I don't know why I did that. You know, this guy's trying to shoot me, but that didn't go too well for him. So, let's call him this new. Thank y'all for watching. And, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. But, one quick thing before we go. If y'all want to see uh, more content or hear more stories, I need you to comment below because I'm trying to provide the best content I can to y'all and I can't really do without any feedback. So thank y'all for watching again and don't forget to like and subscribe. See y'all later.